More than 90% of directing the picture is the right casting. Marion Darty raised the stock of casting directors and gave a lot of very important actors their first jobs. She'd look at you and you knew that she was seeing something that you didn't see about yourself. A new documentary debuting August 5th on HBO puts the spotlight on the remarkably uncelebrated craft of casting. Indeed, the role of casting director still doesn't receive an Academy Award nomination. The director of the film, Tom Donahue, joins us right now on Lunch Break. Thanks for being here, Tom. Hello. Pleasure. Many moviegoers such as myself, who don't, if you don't stick around for the credits, you might not even realize that there is a separate casting director. Your film, Casting By, that's the name of it, right. pinpoints some of the reasons why this has sort of been the hidden craft. W what did you find? Well, it's really fascinating. I grew up loving the idea, I grew up loving movies and thinking that the director was the supreme being. Right. And had even DPs and editors, but I had no idea how important the casting DPV director was. DPV director of photography. The cameraman, right. yeah. I had no idea how important the casting director was in creating the cast of the film, which as Glenn Close told me in an interview, first there's words on a page and then there's the cast. Right. And all the director can really do is mess up if those other two things are perfectly done. In the old Hollywood, the early Hollywood, you almost didn't need a casting director because of the way the studios were set up. They sort of made lists of people, men and women, who were under contract, right? And then they went right. down the list to see who was available. When did that start to shift and this need, uh, this entrepreneurial need for a casting director come into play? Well, there was this thing, this kind of new media sensation in the late 40s called television. And it happened in New York. And Marion Doherty, my main star, right. was a window dresser at Bergdorf Goodman. And she was asked by her friend, can you help me? I'm overwhelmed. I need to find 10 to 20 actors a week for this new thing called television, for craft television right. theater. And she said, I'd love to help. Beats window dressing. And she found James Dean, Gene Hackman, Robert Duvall. Uh, it goes on and on. Warren Beatty. And in watching your film in the first part, where you really sort of explore how Marion grew into this role, and, and she's such an interesting character. She's, she's not alive anymore. But uh, discovering these great people, you know, we all know them as stars now, but she just had an eye for it. And I'm wondering, Tom, what you think, what was the inherent skill set she had that made her know these people could have star qualities even though it might not seem that way on paper? Right, and also they could fail in an audition. Yes. But she would know they could be perfect And then they for felt the horrible part. about it when they did because they felt they let her down. Right. Well, she had golden instincts. She could tell that person can be a great actor. And also, she had the, the availability of the theater in New York, which is so rich in New York. And it was the beginning of Broadway and off, of off, off Broadway and off Broadway. And that's where she was able to see John Voight on stage and then decide to cast him in Naked City or Dustin Hoffman. And she didn't care about looks. And that was the big kind of pioneering difference between her and the studio system. It wasn't how handsome they were, it's how good an actor they were. The actors knew how important that she, she was. I mean, John Voight mentioned in, in your film, he talks about being so horrified at how poorly he performed in Naked City that he sat down to like try and write her these apology letters. Not everybody, though, in Hollywood always appreciated the role of casting director. And many of the casting directors, as you point out, were women. Why do you think they sort of got pushed down in terms of importance? And why is there no Academy Award nomination? Well, you know, to be fair, it's the youngest profession in Hollywood. And back in the studio days, it was mostly secretarial. It was, let's pick from this Chinese menu of people who are under contract with the studios. It became creative in the 60s and the 70s. And it's simply taken the Academy time to recognize it. But things are hopefully changing for the better. Do you think women, I mean, so many women have become casting directors. Do you think women might have a particular knack, a sixth sense about somebody's skill sets and talents that they might bring to the screen that, that guys don't? Yeah, I will say I talked to about 100 casting directors, mostly women, and they all seem to think that they have a much greater nurturing ability and an ability to, to go between the actor on this end and the, to serve the director's vision on this end. It's a fascinating film. I've watched about half of it so far. Marion, uh, who again was one of the focal points of your film, she died as we were saying before yeah. the film, but she might have thought this tribute to her is better than an Academy Award. Thanks, Tom. I hope so. Thank you Th so thank much for Thank you for being with us. Me. Good luck.